Welcome to Basic Sampler here at Close to Home in Southington for March of 2022. We're going to have you bring in your completed February blocks starting Saturday, March 19th through March 31st to get your March kit free. Also, we have plenty of classes forming now. We have the Mondo Bag, we have Iron Pad Caddy, just to name a few. On Saturday, September 19th, we're going to have some selected Finish the Bolts at 50% off. And also, there is a one-day sale on Saturday, March 19th in Southington. So check the March Basic Sampler email that comes out for more details. All right, let's get going on our block. So today's block, or the month of March, I should say, is a four patch. And what we're, what we're using is the Creative Grids folded corner clipper to create a square and a square unit. The other blocks are pretty simple. We're just making a four patch and this unit right here on the sides with a couple rectangles on the top. So two separate units, but I will be showing you the folded corner clipper. So March's block has quite a few colors to it. Um, the cream, I would have you probably cut a two and a half and two and a half first. So if you were to take this and cut your four two and a half inch squares first, and then the remainder can be cut into the larger pieces, which is three and a half. So we're gonna have four three and a half squares, and then you'll be able to cut four more three and a half squares. And these are for the uh, folded corner clipper, and these are for the four patch. Simply the blue is to cut four two and a half inch squares, again for the four patch. The multi, this month we're back with the turtles. The turtle multi is going to be cut into two six and a half inch squares. The yellow for the four patch units that are part of the border are going to be cut into two strips at one and a half. Each of those strips is going to be cut into four one and a half inch squares to get eight. And then of course the green is also in the four patch border. And we're gonna cut a four and a half inch strip nice and wide and sub cut that into eight one and a half inch strips. So I've got all my cutting done over here. I've even tried to get a little bit ahead of the game and sew a few of my things. You'll notice first off that I've sewed the eight one and a half inch yellow squares to just four of my four and a half by one and a half inch greens. I've already started sewing my four patch by pressing a cream and blue square to the blue. So when I make my four patch, I'll simply turn each side, sew down the side, and lock that seam right in the center. Okay, so we'll go ahead and sew those. And I'll lock this seam again right in the center so that we have, whoop, that was cute. We'll lock that seam right in the center so we have our four patch. So we'll go ahead and sew that in a second. Okay, the other thing when we get our four patch, and I'll sew that in a, in a few minutes, I want to talk about the folded corner clipper. So this is what we're going to be using. It has a blunt top to the triangle and markings down the sides all the way from one to five. And this is our 45 degree angle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to keep putting our squares oops, on here like this. We're gonna start with our multi-square. We're gonna add <clears throat> and then I'll have to keep sewing and pressing. So we're going to add right sides together. One of my cream three and a half inch squares. We're going to take our folded corner clipper, lay the blunt edge up at the top of the square, and where it says three and a half will be along the bottom of the square. And each one of these has a line going up at a 90 degree corner. 
So we're going to wedge our edge of our cream square in that corner and we're going to cut right along that 45 degree line. So hold on to it. So we're going to cut this. We're going to get rid of those and we're going to go over and we're actually going to sew a quarter of an inch. So we're going to sew right where that solid line is. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll do my four patches while I'm over here. So go ahead and put your square in. All right, so I tried to come right out that 90 degree corner right there, as close as I could. And what we're going to do is we're going to press this one to the cream. So the cream's on top. I'm just going to press that right over. And I'll go ahead and press my four patch while I'm at it. So a little bit of heat and press it toward the, toward the corner. So what we did was a folded corner clipper. And while I have this, let me sew these. These are my four patches. Locking in my center seam. Make sure that center is locked. Go ahead and press these. All right. So we'll put the folded corner aside for a sec. So these little blocks, we're going to start with two of the greens, either on the top or bottom, it doesn't matter. And we're going to go ahead and sew those. These are four and a half. When we sew these, we're going to press them to the green. Then we'll go ahead and add our sides. These are already pressed to the greens, so our intersections should have um, a nice nested seam allowance right there. So we're going to go ahead and make these units. All right, so that's pretty simple. I don't think I have to go over too much more on the four patch blocks. All right, so back to my folded corner clipper. So we did this one. We're going to go ahead and turn our multi again, grab another square, right sides together, same location, same angle, the blunt side of my folded corner clipper at the top along the three and a half inch mark in that 90 degree corner right in the corner of my square. All right, so let's go over and sew this. And again, your seam should go right from that 90 degree corner, quarter of an inch out that corner. All right, make sure you do press these as you go. How do I know that? <clears throat> okay. And we'll go ahead and press this one. Again, to the outside, a little bit of heat on the corner, hold it up and press it out. Okay. We're just going to keep going around. So we just did this one. Turn it one more time. Grab another corner. Put it right in to the corner of the multi. Grab your folded corner clipper and line that up. I have the blunt side, the edge, the three and a half, and the 90 degree corner. So I'm good to go. Trim. And let's go press. You could make a lot of different square in a square blocks with this ruler. You could make a lot of half square triangles. You could make snowball blocks. Okay. 
And one more time, go ahead and press. This was the one we just did. Notice I have my quarter inch seam allowance, nice straight edge because I came right out that 90 degree point. Again, quarter inch seam allowance. Turn it, right sides together. Grab your little corner clipper. We're gonna line it up, trim it, and then sew it. We're going to take, if you want to put a pin in it, obviously you can. I'm just going to hold on to it and bring it right to my sewing machine. All right. So we just made a square and a square. So we're going to go ahead and make two of these and two of these and we're going to sew them together as a four patch. All right, so our six and a half inch square is finished at six using our three and a half inch squares and our folded corner clippers. We're cutting these two and a half, they finish at two, these finish at one, so we have six inch, six inch creates our block. And go ahead, if you've done your borders, to go ahead and put your borders on. If you haven't done your borders, now might be a good time to think about what fabrics you're going to be using. All right, so thank you for watching. Have a great month.